hey guys in this video we will discuss complete if function with multiple examples friends if you still have not been subscribed our channel i will request you to please subscribe our channel microsoft office tutorials and press bell icon button so that you don't miss any new coming video from our channel so now let's move toward our tutorial without wasting more time before starting let's have a look on this table and the situation that we are going to use in this tutorial to make it easy for us to understand and learn if function here you can see we have names of different salespersons and here we have three different products sold by these salespersons and here we have total sales made by these salespersons actually here the situation is in bonus earned column we need to write yes for those employees that have earned bonus and no for those employees that have not earned bonus then in bonus amount column we need to write bonus amount for each employee that we need to pay to each employee actually here bonus amount column amount in bonus amount column will depend result in bonus earned column how we will do this we will do this using if function we will also use these four situations to make sure that till last of this tutorial we would be able to use if function in any situation now let's start from first situation according to first situation bonus will be paid if total sale is more than 30000 means any employee who has total sale more than 30000 will get bonus so uh, what we will do in bonus earned uh, column mean we need to write yes for any sales person who has total sales greater than 30000 so how if function can help us to write here yes or no by comparing this total sales value with 30000 let's see how if function can help us we will write here if function bracket open or you can use tab button that will uh, automatically insert here bracket open logical test what logical test we want to uh, perform here as we want to compare this total sale with this 30,000 and we want to know that either this total amount is greater than 30,000 or no. So we will simply write here as we have been already written here if so we need to simply write here this value is greater than this value and then comma. If we read this uh, statement or if we read this formula what does this mean if this value is greater than this value. So next thing that we need to write here value if true if this logical test is true what we want to write here if this value is greater than this we want to write here yes because in that case this employee or this sale person will get bonus so one thing that you need to remember here is that anything you write in if function you need to write in inverted commas otherwise this function will show you error unless this is selection of some cell as you can see here this is e3 is cell j1 is cell we don't need to put inverted commas beside this cell but as yes we have written here yes we need to write here uh, we need to put here inverted commas beside yes and then again inverted uh, comma value is false but if this value is not greater than this value means if this logical test is false what we will do what we want to write here we want to write here no because in that case in that case this employee or this sale person will not get bonus so i will press enter here you can see answer is yes mean this value is greater than this if function show gave us answer yes so i will just extend it or drag it down but here you can see yes 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 these are wrong why because when i have been extended this down you can see here this is also came down but we need to compare this value but what this with this value. what i will do i will just lock this cell here sorry i will just lock this cell J1 I will lock this I will press F4 button and here you can see dollar sign beside this J and 1 shows that this row number and column number is locked here so when I will this drag it down I will or I will extend this if function to down here you can see this is J1 here you can see this is still J1 mean this J1 cell has been locked so now these are answers mean this employee will get or this uh, salesperson will get will get bonus this will also get bonus and this one two three four this will not get bonus why because this these values or these sales are not greater than thirty thousand so now here we need to write here bonus amount that these employees will get so what we will do again we will use here if function if function here what we want to do what logical test we want to perform we want to check that either here is yes or not yes so what we will do we will just select this and we want to compare it with yes equal sign then uh, inverted commas and yes then inverted commas so this statement shows if 
this value or value in this cell is equal to yes or no we will insert comma if this is yes we want to select this we want here this one if this is equal to yes here it will become 500 otherwise comma otherwise we want here zero because if here is no mean this employee will not get bonus so here we will become a zero but here if here is yes here will become this 500 mean this employee will get bonus 500 so i will press enter and again here uh, if i will extend it down this will this is also wrong because you can see this selection is came down so here i will just lock this cell j3 i will i will press f4 and this will be locked and then i will extend it down and here you can see this employee will get 500 bonus this employee will get 500 bonus so, so this was first situation if here you can see uh, total sale is greater than 30,000 total sale is greater than, than 30,000 he got bonus total sale is greater than 30,000 he got bonus but all remaining are not greater than 30,000 so this was what we have been learned up to now if in if uh, function we have been learned greater than situation so now let's discuss second situation bonus will be paid if total sale is equal to or greater than 30,000 here just we used this greater than here you can see we used just greater than but here we want to use if equal to or greater than here you can see this 30,000 this is equal to this 30,000 but this is not greater than 30,000 therefore he don't get bonus but now we want to use two situations we just simply write here equal sign and now if we read this situation or this statement this will uh, tell us that if this value or this total sale is greater than or equal sign shows or are equal if this total sale value is greater than or equal to this value in uh, in this cell that is 30,000 then we want here yes otherwise we want here no I will press enter and I will just extend this formula down and here you can see now this is also showing that this this employee will get bonus because now the condition is bonus will be paid if total sale is greater than here you can see this is this is greater than or equal to that is equal to sorry equal to this is equal to 30,000 or greater than 30,000 this is greater than 30,000 this is greater than 30,000 and this is same formula that we have been used here that if this value is equal to yes then we want to give him this amount bonus otherwise we want to give him nothing that is zero so now what we have been discussed now greater than or equal to this that is the second situation and this equal to we also have been used already here you can see that we have been used this equal equal to so let's highlight what we have been used till now i will highlight maybe in yellow color and these two both yellow color so up to now we have been used these two situations and here these two examples we have been used to learn a function now let's move toward third situation deduction now we will make deduction to salesperson deduction will be made if total sale is less than 30,000 we will again write here if function and tab button logical test if this value is smaller than this value 30,000 then comma then what we want to do we want to write here yes mean in that case yes mean deduction will be made otherwise comma otherwise if value is not true if this value is not smaller than this value then we will just uh, no so what does just let me show you one more thing go to formula and in evaluate formula here you can see this is same formula that we have been used here you can see this is same formula that we have been used we evaluate this formula what we have been used here that this e3 is smaller than this amount or no just evaluate in e3 is equal to 32500 then evaluate this j1 that we have been used here this is equal to 30000 so this 32500 is smaller than this amount or no so evaluate this is false mean this amount is not smaller than this amount then what we have been used here in formula this is value yes if this situation is true but in case this is false so this if function will give us answer this no because this will be we have been selected this no when answer of this if function is uh, false we want here no so this is no answer we'll close and here again i will extend to down but here don't uh, forget one thing we need to lock this cell I will press F4 and press enter and I will drag it down and here you can see this value is smaller than 30,000 this is smaller than 30,000 
thousand these two are smaller than thirty thousand so we will make deduction again here how many deduction we want to make and when we want to make deduction if the value in the cell is equal to yes if value in the cell is equal to yes then we want to make deduction what is what will be deduction deduction should be this amount hundred dollar otherwise we don't want to make deduction mean we want deduction zero let's enter so mean as this value is not smaller than this thirty thousand total sale is not smaller than thirty thousand so we don't want to make deduction from this employee so i will extend it down but before i will just log this j3 otherwise it will come down so i will just drag it down you can see we want we will make deduction from this employee and these two employees this is third situation let me highlight this and here as here this if formula was with smaller than situation or so here we will we also have been less than or smaller than we also have been discussed in this third case so now next and last situation deduction will be made if total sale are less than or equal to 30000 here we just used you can see here if total sale are less than 30000 but here we want to use if this total sale is less than or equal to we will just add equal if this total sale is less than or equal to this 30000 then we want here yes otherwise we want here no I will press enter I will just drag it down so here you can see this has been added now because this 30,000 is equal to 30,000 according to this situation sales that are less than or equal to 30,000 these sales are less than 30,000 but these are equal to 30,000 so we will make deduction from all and this is same situation if here is yes mean if answer here, here is yes mean we will make deduction then as this is equal to yes then we want deduction this one otherwise we don't want deduction so you can see now this time deduction is 400 or from four employees so this fourth condition is also our fourth situation is also discussed and this is equal to and less than equal to and less than so we also have been discussed there so friends this is all for this tutorial if you like this video please don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to subscribe our channel and press bell icon button also don't forget to share this knowledge with your friends and if you don't understand anything regarding this tutorial just mention in below comment section i will answer all of your questions and at last thanks for watching bye bye